Brian. Well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Great day, safe day. Thanksgiving's coming up. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Manifest is where it's at, folks. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 51, NASDAQ off 76, S&P's off 8.5. Gold, gold contract up $21.80 trading at 2022 an ounce. We have silver up $0.29, cents, $24.25 an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat. $77.90 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note, up four ticks, trading 108.31. The 30-year are down two at 115.24 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now trading up 118 ticks, 103.556, euro 109, yen 148, British pound 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Just call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we got a heck of a rally. There's no doubt about that. And we take a look at this. You know, the bottom line is that you took out the B point, took it out with volume. It's about a week and a half ago. This Friday, right there, before the gap higher, you took it out right there. That's a 462. Thus far, we've hit 454. So 462 is not going to be that hard to do. Um, my take is that that's where we're going. We look into the NDX, uh, the Qs. We take and now the, as soon as Nvidia comes out with numbers after the close, these Qs are going to be cooking. And what the Qs did do, the bottom line is the Qs blew away their their swing point. The swing point that was up at that that at high there. Right now we are at uh, 388, and we take a look at this baby, and you can see, you know, you get this run here. I mean, the next number here is, uh, yeah, in the 400s. And if you take a look at this, this is what's really intriguing to me, is that the, the second get-go down, well, well even if we, we take a look at the, yeah, the, the second get-go down, meaning we only did a 0 0.382 retracement. You know, from the lows that would happen in March to the highs that happened in July, a 0.382 retracement, folks, is saying, you know, you can have another ABC structure on the way up. I know that sounds bizarre, but bottom line is that you can. Now, if I go over to Microsoft, what you're going to see is that, you know, you, you got the deal with Microsoft, OpenAI, the whole battle that's going on there. You know, you get four nonprofit directors because, you know, OpenAI is, is controlled by a nonprofit. That bottom line is that uh, said, see you later. Like, you know, I, I want all your money. But I don't want your ideas. <laughs> so uh, we'll see how that shakes out. But the way Microsoft set up, man, Microsoft set up for an ABC structure all the way up to 417. And right now you're at 372. So you are talking about some numbers here. And then if we go into the dollar, what you're going to see, we take up the dollar. You know, the dollar is cracked. And it's not only cracked, but what you had is this, which is kind of cool. So you got to the high. You came off the high just slightly. You tried to make it up to the high again, couldn't handle it. All of this in here, and this is what makes this downdraft so powerful, all of that, if you're watching Tiger TV, when we went sideways for approximately a month, that each and every time that there was any juice, meaning that you go lower or higher, in this case we went lower with conviction, that brings the aspect that we'll probably get out of the end of it meaning the end of this consolidation, much higher, particularly because where we should have got some support, it ran through like nothing, man. 104, 599, which was hard on the way up, was nothing on the way down. You know, so the bottom line is that when we take a look at this, I suspect we're going to go there first. Now, I'm going to bring this on a larger basis because when you change trend, okay, the bottom line is that, you know, we'll see what ends up happening when we get inside of this, uh, particularly about the, about the 100 mark, okay? 100 
you know, is, is not a magic number. But if you do break this, okay, and we get down to that 99, well, guess what? Then you're talking about uh, an 88. And we haven't been down to 88, you know, since 2017 or 2021. That's how this thing set, sets up. So big numbers. And we go over to the bonds. You go over to the bonds. The bonds might take higher price, lower yield. What we did do out here today is that you had the, um, you know, you can tell by looking at this, okay, you broke the downtrend, meaning downtrend in price, uptrend in yields. You broke it with conviction. You can see the long price movement there, plus we have volume, okay? That's saying that we are on our way back to about a 3.7 inside of the 10-year, uh, and that seemed like a huge number, you know, only, you know, three weeks ago, but guess what? We're at a 4.406 right now. So that's not going to be that hard to get. That, that's, that's the bottom line. They came out with uh, the minutes, the minutes of the last Fed meeting, and the bottom line is that uh, inside of those minutes, folks, okay, they're, they're basically on board that they're going to proceed carefully. And guess what? The, the, the rates are, rate hikes are over. And what has happened already is that the market is pricing down the rates, just as the market priced up the rates when we were at 0.25 of 1%. When we were at 2.1, we were at 2.25 of 1%. That bond started moving approximately three to four months before the Fed moved. And that's all that matters if you're in the aspect of how much money does money actually cost us. Because it's going to be predicated on the prime and it's predicated on the 10-year. The mortgages are predicated on the 10-year. Um, you know, the overnight rates, the credit card rates and all this are predicated on the prime. But you take that and put it all together and then let's go to the gold contract. Because you go to the gold contract... This is the delayed move. Now, this is what gold does, man, too. You know, bottom line, doesn't move, doesn't move. All of a sudden, the dollar is up a buck thirty-eight, and gold decides to go up 23 bucks. okay? Bottom line, when we take a look at gold, gold right now is probably on its way to 2,500, you know? So it's going to get really intriguing watching this whole thing shake out. And if gold's on the way to 2,500, um, that head and shoulders that uh, Tim Wood's talking about, I, could, I suspect will come into fortune because then you'll just have all boats rising. Dow, Dow Industrial is down 61, NASDAQ off 79, S&P's off 10. Stay right there, folks. Come back with that man, Mr. Basil Chapman. We are going to be riding this wave, man.